The fundamental is renewables are too expensive compared to oil and gas. At the end of the day, we all know what the situation is with us burning huge amounts of fossil fuels, and it would be very good if we could reduce that. What's happened during the process, which is unusual in this sort of project, is that our price point has actually come down and down and down. If you can produce a non-polluting system that's cheaper than a polluting system, it's an absolute no-brainer. So testing goals today is to... The idea of using kites to generate electricity comes from the 1970s of a chap called Lloyd. The thing was then that the technology wasn't available to make kites that have anything like the life expectancy, the tethers weren't strong enough, the electronics weren't there to be able to control it. The way that kites generate power is by flying forwards in the wind and it pulls the line off of a drum at the bottom. This generates electricity. And then when we finish generating power with a kite, we fly it up overhead and we pull the line back in again. And by having two kites, we always have one of them generating power. The control system, what we have on the, the wing is a thing we call an AHU, which is an uh, attitude and heading unit, and we have a GPS. So basically this kite always knows where it is, and it always knows which way it's going and how high it is. The majority of this is all about offshore. Which would you prefer to look out at, a load of towers close inshore, or a load of kites flying far offshore? The big advantage of this offshore is that you don't need jack-up barges, which are big boats with legs that stand up to get the turbine blades off. All of our stuff is floating on the surface. So you can unattach these from the bottom, you can tow them in for repair, and you can take them back out again. This is a floating technology. You can put it in very deep water. Uh, it's tsunami-proof, so, so basically a large wave can go underneath this. The whole thing just bobs up. Once the kite's up there, we generally don't bring them down. The great thing is these kites generally are flying at approaching 200 miles an hour, so for them it's a normal day's work to stay up in a storm. My true vision is to, have, is, is to build a system that's deployable anywhere in the world. Uh, the majority of areas aren't able to, to, to use horizontal axis wind turbines because of weather conditions, deep water. This is deployable around every coast. Turning the tide is what it's about. It's about taking a, a situation that we've all created and trying to slow it down so that we at least have a chance of getting out the other side of it. That's exactly what it's all about.